So this is a DirecTV Android TV box, and well, basically it's like a DirecTV like receiver thing, but with Android TV on it. And this thing is useless if you don't have a DirecTV subscription, which, you know, basically makes it landfill if you don't have a DirecTV subscription, and, well, there's a lot of these things around, and people are trying to figure out what to do with them. I'm not sure if I'm the first to discover it, but I'm the first to make a video on it, but I figured out how to get a different launcher on this thing without even signing in the DirecTV. So before this screen right here pops up, you'll be prompted to sign in with your Google account. And once you do that, it'll basically be set up as just an Android device. And as far as it knows, it's working perfectly fine. Okay, so now you'll need an Android phone. And basically, you'll just open the Google Play Store and type in TV Launcher and then select your device. So the AT&T TV, which is this one. And then just basically find a TV Launcher like this one and click Install on your AT&T TV. And once it's done, you'll see that pop-up right there, which just disappeared really quickly. And basically, you just click the home button on your remote, and well, there you go. That's it. You just select the launcher you downloaded, and there you go. And this is the only option you have to set your launcher as default. So as long as you just download a new launcher, you'll be able to change your launchers and stuff. Uh, and it just works perfectly fine. And this launcher right here, I think, is the best free option. This one is called the, the Projectivity Launcher, so you can go download that pretty much just anywhere. And honestly, it's a great launcher. Like, it does everything I'd expect, you know, just a normal Android TV to do. Okay, now, before I, you know, finish this, the only setback with this thing right here is the fact that you can't install apps from unknown sources because that setting has been removed by DirecTV. But other than that, everything, like, should work perfectly fine as if it was just an Android TV that was, well, working perfectly fine. Okay, now if you received your DirecTV box, but it's like still signed into a Google account, you don't get prompted and you just see this, here's how you can get past that. So first you'll need this app and it basically just, it's really easy to set up. Once you open the app, a thing will pop up here and you'll enter the code on this and basically it'll be set up as just a remote. But first we need to enable talkback, so just push and hold F2 until a green box pops up like that, and then you push space and alt. Once in here, scroll down the talkback settings, but do not go into it, then open the remote app and basically just spam the crap out of these buttons until YouTube stays open in the background. DirecTV will try to close it a few times, that's why you have to spam it, but once you basically confuse it, it'll stay open, and now you can go into TalkBack settings and it won't try to close it on you. Like, like so. And from here in TalkBack settings, you can just go all the way down here and open the Google Play Store. And once it opens, you'll have the option to sign in with Google. If you, if you go to like install an app, it'll basically ask you to sign in the Google and then you can do the method that was mentioned before in this video. So yeah, that's pretty much it. The main reason I did this was because I didn't want to, well, make this thing e-waste. Uh, not a lot of people want to buy these because they, they have to use DirecTV with it and they're also just not that popular or that expensive. But now you can actually use them. So if you actually have one or if you want to buy one for like super cheap, then you can actually do something with it.